Today we're talking about Lainey. She had come from a high kill shelter in Texas. Her and her two brothers were found drowning in a bucket outside. I guess someone had put them there and left them basically to die. And it rained and filled up the bucket. <clears throat> We took on Lainey and her, her two brothers. They were about seven or so weeks old, but she was so tiny. We didn't have her brothers and like couldn't tell how far along she was based on like eye color, teeth, things like that. We would have probably thought she was literally like three weeks old. We took them to the vet right away. Our foster literally picked them up from the other rescue's house, drove them to the vet because they had really bad stomach problems and it just didn't look like they were doing too well at all. So took them immediately to our vet in Philly. They were okay. Um, they just got them on medicine to kind of assist with the stomach issues. And also um, Lainey had an eye infection. And yeah. Her eye was like crusted shut. Just getting worse. Yeah, it was It was like so awful. And she was barely, like she was had such a hard time breathing. Um, she was so tiny, you could just feel her bones. Like I remember holding her like in my hand and she was like so tiny. I'm like, I don't know if she's gonna honestly make it. But as soon as we got her on eye medicine, we got her on antibiotics, within a few days her eyes started to open back up. They did think she would originally lose the eye, but uh, surprisingly it healed pretty well. We were concerned about her weight for a while because she wasn't even, she wasn't even a pound, was she? No, her brothers were like double her size. So we were trying to get her on different foods, um, higher protein. We knew we had to take it slow because she was like very undernourished. She slowly started eating a little bit from her hands and then she would just kind of start eating on her own. So we let her eat when she was hungry. And at one point her belly got so big from eating so much that we thought something was wrong. We took her back to the vet. It turned out she was just so tiny to begin with. She just kind of recovered from that quickly. <laughs> and now she's evened out and looks, <laughs> looks yeah. normal. You wouldn't even know anything was wrong with her whatsoever. Yeah, we thought she was going to be completely different as she is now. She was <laughs> so sleepy because she didn't feel good, so she just wanted to cuddle like 24-7 to be held and sleep on your lap. She would literally sleep just right in our she sweatshirt. She would scream <laughs> to be picked up just to be held and just go to sleep. And then we're like, oh, she's so sweet, easy going. And then she just, started to play. And she got to feeling better. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? She just wants to play 24-7. We completely switched gears, so not what we were expecting. She's but surprised to be picked up when she wants to cuddle, but yeah. it's not as awesome. She's not as much of a baby anymore. <laughs> so the brothers are still with their original foster mom who had all three of them. They're still available. We're gonna try to get them adopted together because they're like very bonded with each other after all they've been through. So kind of going through that process now to vet our uh, potential adopters. For Lainey, when the time came when, you know, she was going to be available, we started lining up a home. We actually didn't have anybody fill out an application for her. And I was like... And everybody wanted her when she was yeah. tiny and really sick and kept asking about her. But we don't line up homes too early just in case anything goes wrong. Yeah. And Eventually, like, I, you know, made a post saying she hasn't been um, adopted. You know, we don't have a home lined up for her. And so she did get a few applications. And one um, looked really great. And um, she's so excited. So I've been sending her pictures and videos and all that. Now she's getting fully fixed today, fully vetted, and then she actually leaves us in like four days. So it's crazy how much time has uh, flown by with her because she seems like a totally different cat now. She is super playful. She literally just climbs our dining room chairs and wants to be on the table. She always runs around like crazy with our other cat. She loves any toy, anything to play with. She's really changed a lot, but I'm so happy to see her healthy and yeah. her true colors have kind of come out.